Thank you for clicking on today's video brought to you by Backyard Zombie. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of projects and I really just wanted to do something like kind of dumb but kind of fun. I've been watching, as I said in a couple of videos ago, I've been watching a lot of miniature videos and I'm just, I just wanted to do something that was like miniatures but spooky and I came across this model of the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. And I I really like Scooby-Doo. Actually, one of my favorite comic books is Scooby Apocalypse. And if you haven't checked it out, here's a link in the description about the comic book itself. But it's like Scooby-Doo, post-apocalypse, monsters, it's horror. But I'm gonna take this mystery machine model and I'm going to backyard zombie it out so I have it for my display. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're opening up the model and we are gonna take out all of its contents from the box. There's Shaggy, there's Scooby, and we're gonna take out the main body and all the pieces, and we'll take out the stickers, and yeah, try to get a feel of what we're gonna be doing. So I laid out all the parts here, and I put the model together here. It was a fun little build. And then I recycled all the pieces in my Grizzlies box. So we're taking a break from the build because we're at the Toy Ohio show. And I'm just gonna say this now, People don't know how to freaking park. So I've actually gone to like three different Goodwills and a Salvation Army and I just could not find um, any like toy cars that I could use for this build. I'm really looking for a plow, like a tractor plow. So I'm gonna go to a couple of dollar stores and hopefully I can find some kind of like plow to put on the front of the car because I really want to do like a plow uh, kind of based off of the Ash vs. Evil Dead car. So I don't know the cameras. So we're gonna go check out a dollar store, a dollar general, and we're just gonna try to find a tractor that has a plow. So we'll see. Okay, so we scored at the first dollar store, but we still haven't found a plow. I'm still looking for a plow. I really just want a plow for the front of this. I don't know why, I just really do. So I'm really hoping the next dollar store we can find a tractor that has a plow. So let's wish for the best. Yay, I found one. Okay, and so, so far these were the pieces I had lying around from an old Star Wars model kit and some other toys, but I went to the dollar store and I found some cool stuff. So the first thing I found was this, like, Navy Seals, and I loved all the little accessories it came with. Then I found two of these plows, and then I found this little tank that I really liked for the, I'm gonna put it inside the car. I like those little signs, so I thought I'd do something with them. And then I found these Final Faction figures, which are just really cool. They have a bunch of little accessories that I could use as Greeblies. And then I found an accessory pack, which I thought was really cool, and I was going to deck out the entire car. So I opened everything up, and I chose what I thought I was going to use for the car. And I'm going to start drilling holes. And then I found this little figure, and I thought he was cool. And I was going to take his head and mount it on the front of the car because I just thought it would look really cool. So there's me just trying to figure out if I was going to do that or not, but I, it just didn't end up working, so I liked him. He kind of looked like Psycho Gorman, so. And then I meticulously glued everything to the car in random places where I thought it would look really cool and sci-fi-y. So a bunch of guns and, like, modules, and I drilled a lot of cool stuff to the mystery machine, and then gonna get ready to figure out how to take apart these plows so I could attach them to the front of the mystery machine. And with a little glue and some cutting, I was able to mount the plow onto the mystery machine. And I'm just testing it out. And yeah, I think it's gonna do exactly what it's supposed to do. Now we did a, like a, like a, a disgusting black acrylic paint wash just so I could start seeing everything come together. Get some ideas how I was gonna paint everything. Busted out some silver rub and buff and I was just gonna start highlighting some of the pieces that I thought would be metal. So here I am on this module just highlighting some of the black paint with, with this rub and buff so it would look all cool and like metal and sci-fi. And yeah, I'm gonna go to almost the entire car and highlight stuff I think is going to be silver and then maybe add some like scratches or you can see where the car's paint is chipping off. So I did that and yeah, I went around the entire car. Fun, fun. Now I'm gonna bust out some oil paints, some uh, brown and some burnt umber, and I'm gonna highlight some of the bottom of the car to make it look like as if this car had just been rusting and it had gone through some carnage. And I also added a lot of like red enamel to the front so it looked like all the gore was in front of the machine as well. And yeah, there's just me playing with it. <laughs> and yeah, 
Uh, I think this van came out really cool. I think it's super cool. It's going to look really good on my little desk. And on the inside, I got a picture of Velma and Fred, and of course, a full shot of Daphne. And that is how I made my post-apocalyptic mystery machine. This thing came out really fun. It was just a really fun little project to do uh, when I was doing some downtime. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of detail in it. And from the video, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I want to do more stuff like this. This was actually really fun. I'm thinking about looking for uh, like a model kit of the Ecto-1 to do. But this was really fun, and I really hope it inspires you to take something ordinary and make it extraordinary. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.